behold, one of those who were with Jesus stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck the servant of the high priest and cut off his ear. Then Jesus said to him, put your sword back into its place, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Do you think that I cannot appeal to my father and he will at once send me more than 12 legions of angels? But how then should the scriptures be fulfilled that it must be so? This is a strange aside in the story of Jesus's arrest. As the gospel writers describe it, there are literally hundreds of soldiers who've descended on four guys in a garden in the dark. Then one of them, Peter of course, decides to try to defend himself. What a preposterous picture, a fisherman with a sword against a detachment of professional Roman soldiers. It's a painfully vivid picture of our reactionary eye for an eye squabbles as human beings. You have a grudge against me, so I answer in kind. You cut me off, so I tailgate you. On and on we go in the cycle of offense and revenge, tit for tat. And yet Jesus says, stop. Peter, put down your sword. Stop the cycle. Stop the insane merry-go-round. The small conversation is a microcosm of the big picture. Jesus is in the midst of giving himself to take the punishment for sin and all the grudges, squabbles, and eye for eye that goes along with it on to himself. Total forgiveness to all. We can only imagine. Have you ever forgiven until it hurts? Our natural reaction when shoved is to shove back. It's deeply ingrained in our psyche even in our physical reflexes. It can be uncomfortable, even painful, to stop ourselves from retaliating. We have to give up our rights in that moment. The revenge we deserve in our own minds. We have to put down the sword. By every right, God could have wiped humanity out and started over. We chose sin and polluted his perfect world. But God's plan was never to take his revenge on us. He took that hurt into himself in Jesus. Instead of cutting off an ear, he let himself be cut and beaten and finally killed. He forgave us until it hurt him. He took the pain and violence of that sin into himself, in Christ so much that it killed him. As John the Baptist proclaimed, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. May we join Jesus in stopping the cycle of revenge by putting down our swords, choosing to forgive as Christ has forgiven us. I'm Greg Williams, speaking of life. Thanks for watching this episode of Speaking of Life. We hope you enjoyed it. We'd love to connect with you. Here are a couple of ways. Subscribe to our newsletter, GCI Update, and like us on Facebook. And if you'd like more resources from GCI, check out our website. Thanks again for watching. See you next week.